so second, last but not least, uh, we have Own Hickey uh, with his talk, Perverted by Language. <laughs> uh, oh, um, so Own is an interaction designer uh, working at Workday. Um, he is my colleague uh, there and pal. Uh, so after flirting briefly with front-end development, uh, he stumbled into the world of UX where he's been working for the last number of years on enterprise software. So give a big round of applause for Own. Okay, yeah, I'm good. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about our roles. We need to be persuasive. Uh, we need to be able to create things. We need to be able to have ideas. And we also need to be able to visualize concepts. I'm a designer, but I'm also bad with words. When I was seven years old, uh, my family uprooted and brought us out to a nice little peninsula called Rush. Yeah, Rush. Rush is very weird. I had a teacher who used to ask me this question, and I had no idea how to answer it. Clearly the answer is yes, I do not understand. But that's not what he meant. I think more than this, uh, words can be kind of confusing, because sometimes the words in the sentences don't convey the meaning. So you know if someone actually thinks you have a good idea. We can detect different things like body language, uh, sarcasm, all of those things are, are kind of communicated, not just what is actually said. Computers don't have this. There's no computer that can detect sarcasm, thankfully. Uh, I think Douglas Adams kind of knew this when he chose a fish as the interpreter to all the languages in the universe. We get by by understanding each other without having a little whispery ear fish. Uh, and that's kind of a fascinating thing. Now, we do this with a slide that is going to throw me completely because it always does. Yes, okay, so for frame of reference, uh, the universe of discourse is uh, how we set context. This is a weird George Boolean phrase that he used to bring, back, bring together communication. Um, to set that frame of reference, we use things called metaphors. So comparing unfamiliar topics with things that are familiar. So love, like UX, doesn't have an agreed definition. Love begins with a metaphor. Uh, we use uh, love as a journey, but it's also a battlefield. <laughs> I'm going to pause now. We actually think in metaphors. Um, it's kind of how we make sense of the world around us. I've got a confession. So I was worried that this uh, was going to be uh, a half-baked talk. Uh, I have just written down, damn it. I figured if I had like, um, I figured if I had a solid foundation that I could churn out ideas that would weave a narrative. I meant to get that, damn it. So that was four metaphorical frames, clumsily said, but ideas as food. An argument is something that you construct like a building. The mind is a machine, so we've got cogs that can kind of turn around and something else. <laughs> We've been using metaphors in software for a long time, so back in the early days, people were scared of computers. We didn't know what these things were. We didn't know what a window was, or an icon was, or a menu was, or a pointer was. So we drew back, back directly to the real world, so windows. Uh, just like in the real world, you can open and close windows. Um, unlike in the real world, when you collapse a window in the browser, does not have a devastating effect on the tourism towards Malta. That is the Azure window. It collapsed. Nobody got this. <laughs> so, moving on to the icon metaphor. I don't need this. It's gone. So, designers love pictures. A picture can paint a thousand words, but only if you can see it. And there's a thousand inter interpretations. This is now the clear all narrow all every time I see it. I think uh, more than that, uh, an obscure icon is actually a wasted feature. People aren't going to click on it to discover. Uh, Nielsen Norman Group knows that this, uh, uh, noticed this lack of standardization, and they say you should always include a label with your icon, regardless. Netflix understands this really well. They want you to make a decision on what you're going to watch within seconds. 
Uh, everything in here is clearly marked and it fits onto a mobile screen. Similarly, uh, YouTube, uh, you don't really need a Rosetta Stone to kind of understand this. Uh, everything here, oh yeah, I know what all this stuff is. Home, trending. Now, because they're Google, they're clearly having a battle and consistency doesn't really matter. So on YouTube's music platform, this little trending flame has become a hot list. <laughs> and it's a video hot list up top, so like this bothers me from like uh, consistency and coherence point of view, but I can still understand it. If you took the labels away, I wouldn't. Okay, so finally, uh, I think I just want to end with one couple or a couple of pointers. So obvious beats invention. The wheel exists, we don't have to create it, and words are important, and uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Oh. And thank you.